Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen. Thanks for joining me today. And I want to say thank you so much for your support, especially on my YouTube channel during the pandemic. As I'm now back to teaching live and teaching a lot of classes throughout the week, I'm hoping to still get some content into my YouTube channel for you also. I've had a request today for some Pilates with gliding disc. I have a few on my channel, but not a lot. And the reason being is sometimes it's really tricky to find a space to use your gliding discs. And that is kind of the trouble I have. So a couple of options for you today. I have got some gliding discs that work on carpet. However, my carpet's really fluffy. So sometimes the discs don't glide as much as I would like them to glide. So I'm gonna be using the discs for the uh, carpeted floor. If you are on a wood floor and you have gliding discs, the true gliding discs, they will work perfectly. And that's what I use at the gym with lots of room on a wood floor and they work wonderfully. If you don't have gliding discs, on a wood floor, you can use paper plates and they work great too. But again, you have to worry about getting your foot inside there and there's nothing exactly perfect except for the true gliding disc. And then if you don't have anything like that, you have a wood floor, you can use a pair of socks. Just be really careful as you go through the movement with lots of control as you're uh, sliding in your socks. So those are some options for you today. If you don't have the ideal wood floor with the gliding disc, like I said, I'm going to use my carpeted ones but sometimes they still get sticky. And I'll find that if I miss a disc with my foot, my foot can still move in that same pathway or pattern. So don't hesitate to just do your best with whatever you have, make it work for you. Gliding discs are wonderful. They really mimic the Pilates equipment, but the machines that people use. So if you don't have access to machines, this is a great way to get a great workout that mimics those machines. I'm gonna use my carpeted floor, but if you are on a wood floor, you'll also need a mat to put your hands on, put your back on and your hips on. So make sure you've got a mat, something that's gonna slide pretty well and then do the best that you can. And again, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I think we have reached, this is number 99 on all of the classes. Don't hesitate to go back to the classes and do them over again. I do that in my real classes all the time. There's such good content in all of them. And to me, it takes years and years and years to master some of these moves. So go back through the channel and see what you've maybe missed or try some of your favorites again, or some that aren't your favorites, try those again. Cause a lot of times what we need the most is what's the most challenging to us. Maybe try something new, maybe buy a piece of equipment you've never used before, like a magic circle or gliding discs and really go through the channel and go through them over and over again. As I get more and more requests to film more, film more, film more. Again, there is so much content on this channel. Go check it out. Let's get started today. Go ahead and grab your gliding disc. We're gonna stand up, have a mat close by if you need it. And if you've got a carpeted floor, maybe you don't need a mat today and let's go. Starting with the gliding disc underneath your feet. Check your space, make sure your space is very safe. And that if any time you feel like you're out of control, you can put those feet down and prevent yourself from sliding. Take your arms at the side and let's just review those principles of Pilates, of concentration today, centering and control. Make sure you move very fluidly with smooth motion, precision and detail and breath. Take your right leg, extend it out to the side and pull it back in. As you pay attention to the details, I've got my weight on my centered leg. My knee is going straight forward. My abdominals control the movement. Now take it to the left leg and slide the disc out, pull in, slide out and in. And as you're warming up the legs, you're still using those principles of Pilates in every motion. Take it to the right side a little faster, slide it in, pull in, out, pull in. Other side, push out, pull in. One more, bring it in, take your arms out to the side. Open up the chest, engage your tummy. Take the right foot to a diagonal back and pull it in. Take it to the left diagonal back. Now pick up the speed so you flow and push back. Opening up the chest, using the back muscles, get that diagonal to the back. Good, now hold right here, lower the arms, rotate the toes so they're out and the heels are together. Open up your arms to the side, step out to the right side. 
Slide that leg, left leg in. Go to the left side. Slide the right leg in. Creating a little friction to the floor also helps the disc to slide and it also engages the muscle. Now go to the right side. Reach your arms up. Go to the left side. Reach your arms up and really dragging the leg in. Pull and extend, adding another part to the puzzle. Step to the right, push your left foot forward, lift your arms. Step to the left, right foot forward, lift the arms. Step to the right, push forward. Step to the left and push forward. Bring both legs in, bring the arms down. Turn your toes forward so they are parallel to each other. Narrow it underneath your hips. Squat to the right, stay there, extend the legs, go back into the squat, left leg slides in. Move to the left side, go into a squat, lift, and slide the right leg in. Do it again, slow motion. Center squat, lift through the legs, center squat, then pull the left leg in, it's called a rhythm squat. Slide to the left, rise through the legs, sit. We're gonna add some speed to this with control. It's down, up, left leg goes in. It's down, up, right leg pulls in. Down, up, left leg one more time. Now center, open up your shoulders, pull them back, pull your heels together, zip up the zipper through the pelvis. Slide to the right, arms out. Slide the right leg back in. Do that again, slide out. Push down and slide that leg in. So I'm only moving my right leg. Pull in, one more. And pull in, take it to the other side. Pull in, push out, press through the floor to pull in. Two more times. Press out, stop the momentum, down and lift. One more, pull in. Good, keep the heels connected, shoulders back. Soften the knees into a little plie position, lift the heels. Arms open, so now you've got to really control the disc by pushing the weight down into your toes. Take your right leg, swivel inward and outward. Inward and outward. Inward and outward. One more. Left leg inward and outward. Again. Again. One more. Now both knees turn in, turn out. Inward, outward. Inward, outward, two more. One more, and release, fighting the carpet there. Roll the shoulders back, bring the legs a little closer together to reset your position. Take your right foot forward, bend your knee, open it out to the side, move it to the back, and pull it in. Take it again forward. I'm bending into my stable leg, move it to the back, Pull it in. Take it again. So I go forward, hold. Open to the side, hold. To the back and hold. Pull in and lengthen the leg one more time. So my knee is bent until I pull it back through the center. Now without stopping in between, forward, side, back, pull in. Forward, side, back, pull in. Forward, side, back and in, and again little change. Go forward and side and hold. So I've got my leg extended to the side. Now move it just to the back and to the side, to the back. Notice how you might have to change your arms and shoulder blades. Push to the back. Notice your stable leg, especially the inside of the thigh, kind of that inner thigh stabilizer. Last one here and rise up. Bring your heels together. Reposition your feet. Bring your arms out to the side, zip up the zipper. Bend your left knee, push your, or your right knee, push your left knee forward, then side, then back. And as you come in, lengthen. So push your left foot forward, left foot side, left foot back, and in. We do two more very slow. So we pull into the move, open it up to the back, pull in one more time slow. Use your back to hold those arms up in position so you're working the whole body. Now without stopping, you go forward, side, back, lift up. Bend the knee, open, side, pull up two more. One more time. 
Good. From there, push forward, hold. Push to the side and hold. Now go to the back and hold. Come back to the side. Once you get the body moving, go ahead and add some arms. I like my arms kind of in an L position because they counterbalance me. Then notice your stable leg, especially the inner thigh. Last one, hold. Good, bring it in here. Relax your shoulders. Turn your toes forward and pick up the disc from your left foot, put it in your hand. So you only have your disc on your right foot. Place the disc in your hand and push the right leg back so you're in a low lunge. Pull up. Now we're gonna use the disc in our hand to push us a little lower. Try to touch the floor, pull in. So you're just gonna to touch with the rim of the disc. Pull in. One more and I add on movement. This time put that leg back, hold. Turn sideways, open into a plie. Turn forward, drop the disc, pull in. Take that again, slide back, open to a plie to the side. Turn down, touch the disc, and pull it in. Two more. Push down, open, forward, pull it in one more time. Turn open, forward. Little change on the next one. Push forward, leg goes back. Pull in, push forward. This time stay low, pull in. So my left leg stays bent and low. I'm pulling that knee towards the disc every time I come in. Add some speed. Push, pull, push, pull two more. One more time. And bring it in and up. Place your left foot on top of the disc. Standing nice and tall. Take the left leg back and come back up. Take it again, push against the floor. Now with the disc in your hand, try to touch the floor. Put friction in the moving disc, pull up. Take it again. This time as you go down, turn to the side. Plant it into a plie, turn down and touch. Come in, push down. Turn side, down to the floor. Slide in two more times. Push down, open it up. Push down, pull in. Last one, open side, center. Pull in. This time push forward as you slide back. Come in. One more like that. On the next one, instead of coming up in the center, just pull your leg in, keeping your right knee bent, and start to pull the disc to the knee. A little faster. Push, pull. Push, pull. One more time. And rise up. Good. Place the disc underneath your right foot again keeping a hold of the disc in your hands. Going out to a side loaded lunge, which means the weight's gonna be on the leg that's moving out, and you've gotta stop that momentum. So I move the right leg out, heel down, pull in. Go out, heel down, push against the floor to pull in. My disc in my hand will swing out and swing in. Swing out and under, under and in. Put your weight on the outside leg and friction the floor to pull it in. Little change. Keep the disc at your chest as you go out. Stay there, push the disc forward. Bring the disc to the chest, slide in. Go out, push the disc forward, your hips are back. Pull in. Now this time, it pushes forward as you go out. Pull in. Push forward as you go out. Pull in. Give me two more of those. One more. And come in. Place the disc underneath your left foot. With the other disc in your hand, moving into the side loaded lunge. Swing the disc under as you go out. Plant the foot, pull in and up. Swing under and out. Put the heel down and come up. So you want to put some weight into that leg. Good, a couple more. One more. Now on the next one, keep the disc at your chest and go out and hold. Push the disc forward, hips back, head down. Into the chest and pull up. Slide out, then push the disc forward as your hips go back. So you can feel the position, pull in. 
Now as you push out, push the disc forward. Pull in. Do it again. Push. Pull in. Do it again. Push. Pull in. Last one here. And pull in. Good. Place the disc under both feet. The difference between a parallel leg position and a rotated. So parallel, my toes are forward, but pretty narrow. Heels connect when I rotate. Arms out to the side. Parallel feet, swivel the heels together. Squeeze the inner thighs, swivel the heels out. Pull the heels together and pull the heels out. Look at the details of the move. So you're rotating from the hip socket. On the next one, heels come together. Lift your heels up. Lower your heels down. Open the heels out. Pull the heels and squeeze. Don't let your feet get too far apart. So when they squeeze heels together, you feel your inner thighs connect. A little faster. So heels come in, lift, in, and open. In, lift, in, and open. Two more. One more. Good. Stay in parallel. Feet pretty close together. Most of your foot on the disc, a little bit of heel off the back. Reach forward, squat. As you come up, swivel to the right, lifting your heels. Squat to the center, swivel to the left, lifting your heels. Squat, swivel. Squat, swivel. Pick up the speed. Squat, swivel. Really push with your toes into the disc. One more. Good, hold there. Rise all the way up. Reposition your feet on the disc, pretty close together. Take your arms all the way up over your head, then take your right leg and just push it out to the side a little bit. Curtsy slide that foot behind the left leg, arms go down, arms go up as it comes to the side, arms go down as you lower, arms come up. Curtsy back, lift. Good, curtsy back. Little change, curtsy back, hold, stay there, stabilize. Bow, uh, front knee bent, take that right hand down, turn your left hand up, look at the left hand. Come back, arms out to the side, then arms up as you pull your leg up. From here, it slides back, arms side. Diagonal the arms, look up. Center the arms and lift up. Take it down, turn the arms, look at the head, hand, Come back to center and up. Take that one more time. Turn and rotate. Center. Let's go one more time to finish the phrase of the music. Down, tilt, center, come up. This time go down and hold. Bring your hands into your heart. Open the fingers. We call this a Shiva squat as we push the lotus hands up, pull the back leg in, lower. Squeeze everything in and up, lower. Two more, squeeze and lift, push it back one more time. Squeeze and lift, push back. Bring that back leg around, reposition, lift up. Take the left leg, slide it out, arms up. Curtsy the left leg behind you, arms go side. Arms go up, arms go side as you curtsy back to the side of the leg, take it side. Whew. One more. This time go down and hold. Stabilize your front leg. Turn your left hand down, right hand up. Turn and look up towards the right hand. Bring the hands back out to the side. Engage. And then bring that back leg up as you lift your arms. Move through with fluidity. Go down. Right hand goes up. Center. And lift. Find the details. Find the flow, center, and lift two more times. So arms are out. Diagonal the arms, look up, center. So we feel a lot of look, uh, work in that front leg. Turn and look, center, lift up. Go back into the curtsy and hold. Bring the hands to the heart. Open up the fingers in a lotus position. Pulling the back leg in towards you, lift the arms up and down. Squeeze the inner thighs, push up. Pull down. Two more, push up and down. Squeeze and lift and down. Bring that leg around to center and roll up. Good. Take the foot off 
of the disc out from underneath your left leg and just kind of push it off to the side. This is one, if you're on a wood floor, you may want your mat in front of you where you will go down with our hands. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can kind of see what's going on. With the disc under the right foot, plant the left foot down and slide the right leg back into a lunge. Lift. I'm not gonna lie, this next move is very challenging, but I will give you options. If at any time you feel it becomes too much, do what you're doing now. Take it one more time. Come up, hold. Plant the foot with the disc, lift the opposite knee, and down. Take it again. Lift and lower. Lift. Now put it together. Slide the right leg back and up. Lift the left knee up and down. Slide the right leg. Transfer into the left leg. Now a little change. Slide back. Come up. Lift the right knee and hold. Bring your arms up. Take that left leg, extend forward, bend it, extend forward. So get used to balancing with one foot on the disc. Two more. So teaching each little piece of the puzzle here. Woo, shouldn't have turned my head. Now extend the leg. As you bring your knee in, shift your chest forward, kick your leg back. Now I'm still on that disc and I'm not doing anything with the disc. I'm gonna kick forward and then I'm gonna kick back. So I'm used to shifting the weight. As I get better at this move, I'm gonna to try to get a little bit lower. Don't feel like you have to go at the same pace as me. I might be slower than you wanna be going. Again, try to get all the way down to touch the floor, even if you have to go slower. Now I'm gonna add one more piece. The knee comes up, kicks forward. Your hands touch the floor. Once they do, slide the disc leg back here in a one-legged burpee, pull back in, and then rise from there. That's the hardest part is coming back up. Kicking forward, transfer the weight, get your hands to the floor, and then burpee the leg back. Pull back in. Don't rush, especially coming up. Do a few more, and again, do it at your own pace. Find the smooth quality of motion. And wherever you are, let's do one more time. To me, the hard part isn't the burpee, it's coming up from the burpee We're right there. Finding my balance and find your finish line, good. Okay, one-legged work has two legs. So place the disc now underneath your left foot. Start with just the slide back. This is a great thing to come back to if the burpee is too much, because the burpee mimics the lunge. Push back, pull in, push back, pull in, take it one more time. As you come in, hold, plant the foot, lift the knee, put the knee down, so I'm lifting the right knee. So what I'm doing is I'm teaching the brain and the body, little muscle memory. Now put these two moves together. Slide the lunge back, pull it in, lift the knee up, set it down. Push back the lunge, pull the lunge in, lift the knee up. One more time. Lift the knee up, keep the knee up and bring the arms up. Extend the leg to a forward kick, bend in. Take it again, kick forward. So used to balance right here. Muscle memory, mind-body connection. Now shift the chest forward. Feel how that body weight comes forward. Then come up and kick forward. Feel free to go at your own rhythm. Find your flow. And when you start feeling a little more confident, go a little lower, maybe even start to touch the floor. Again, the hardest part for me after the burpee is coming back up to the top. So practice that without the burpee first. Then when you're ready to go at any time from here on out, your hands will plant to the floor. That leg will shift the burpee back. It will pull back in. 
and stand up to kick. Remember, smooth quality. So if you have to pause to get yourself back up, don't rush it. I'm gonna have you do about two more. Finish the one you're doing. And find your finish. Good, as you finish it, shake off your legs. So again, somewhere in there, I lost my disc in the carpet and it's all okay. We're gonna go down now into a plank position. So if you have a mat and you'd like to use it, go ahead and pull it out. And I'm just gonna use the carpet. As we go into the plank position, the disc will be on our feet and we'll start on our hands. Hands under shoulders, feet on disc, then engage and lift the knees and slide your feet back. Now just slide back and forth with just your feet. One more, now hold. Now you have the option of lowering to your elbows, both elbows at the same time, or one arm at a time sliding your feet back. So slowly start to drop to your elbows. Once you're at your elbows, stay there. Chin up, slide the toes forward and back. Now in a circle, pull the knees in, circle the legs open and around. Reverse the circle so it goes open first. One more. Let your knees come down. Sit back and just relax. Then come back up onto your hands with your feet on the disc. Slide your feet back so you're in a plank. Pull your knees forward, clamshell. Push back. Slide in clamshell. Push back. Slide in clamshell. Hold. Just release for a second. Put your weight on your hands. Slide back. Keep your legs straight. Pull the hips up and pipe. Push back. Pull up and pipe. Push back. Pull up and pipe. Stay there. Bend your knees and release. So these are hard exercises, especially when the floor is sticky. However, we're not doing many, like three of each. So place now your hands on the mat or floor, slide out. Right knee forward, left knee forward. I like to think of these as some of our series of five moves upside down. Four more, keep your chin elevated, back of the neck long. Two more, one more. Pull the feet in, take a rest. So if we were on our back doing that move, it would be the single leg stretch. Place your hands to the floor mat. Slide your feet behind you in a Spider-Man position, right knee to right elbow. Left, right, left, right, left. One more on each side. Last one. Slide into rest. So again, I lost my disc somewhere in the fluffy carpet, but I didn't stop moving. I just slid my foot on top of the carpet without the disc going into the same motion. Okay, place the hands down, chin up, slide your feet back. Engage, like a one-legged jumping jack, right leg side, left leg side, right leg side, left leg side. Try to make it bigger so it comes a little more side, a little more side, a little more side, one more. Bring it in. Reset. Place your hands now under your shoulders. Chin lifted, feet back. Two-legged jumping jack. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. One more, and pull. Bring your knees in. Roll it back. Final move in plank position. It's called the thread the needle. 
Again, I'm struggling with the floor because I don't have enough weight on my feet right now. So put friction on the floor. If you leave, your foot leaves the disc, just keep moving. Come into your plank. Now roll your right leg under the left arm and then switch and switch. Again, under, through, under, through, two more, one more, and bring the knees in and down. Go ahead and pull back and take just a quick little break. If you're using a mat on a hardwood floor, you're going down onto your tummy. The disc will be out in front of you, so you want to protect your hip bones and knees with the mat, but not the disc. So you might want to keep your mat folded a little bit. If you're on the floor, just come on down. Place the disc out in front of you. As we work into the lats and the triceps here, put friction to the floor, pull the weight or the disc in, push forward. Now I want you to do this again. Notice right here. The elbow should be bent. So you're using muscle, not joints. So working through the lats, pull. It's kind of like a supported pull-up move. Now from here, pull up and hold. Take your right elbow, touch the floor, then your left elbow. Touch the floor, then your right elbow. Then your left. Then a little faster. Right to left. And every time I come up, I've still got a little bit of a bend in my elbow. So I'm working triceps and low back. Good, slide the disc forward. Push down and slide the disc in and engage the muscles, soften the elbows. Both elbows touch the ground at the same time. So it's a little elbow or tricep dip. Four more. Three. Two, one more, slide the disc forward and release. Little change, push down with the disc, slide in. Take the right arm, slide side. Same arm. Notice the hand that's holding still. That's the one that's working the hardest. Now left side out and in. Stabilize the disc on the right hand. Push the disc forward to rest the back. Push down with the disc and pull back in. Alternate a right side, then a left side. Notice every time you move one arm, the other one has to push down and hold still. Four more. Three, two, and one. Push down and reach forward. Deep breath, push down and lift up. Now open both arms out and in. Engage that low back and slide them out in the end, keeping the elbows soft. One more. This is such a deceiving exercise. It's so awesome. Push forward and release. Now like a circle, push down, pull in, open the arms, slide, pull in, open out and down. Pull in, out and down. One more. Now reverse the movement, so it goes outward, push, upward, forward. Open, pull, push. Open, pull, push. One more, then I'm gonna reverse it and go a lot faster. Pull into the chest and circle up and around. Up and around. Friction to floor. Reverse and open first. Open, open. Open, one more, and rest. As you slide your knees in to take that child's post stretch back or piece of heaven stretch, reach your arms forward and you'll notice what you just worked. Right there underneath the lats and up into the tricep. Take enough of a deep breath, you feel your ribs expand through your back. And then exhale and pull up. Going into the set of push-ups now. I'm gonna do my push-ups on my knees. I feel like I have a little more control with the disc. And just by putting my hand on disc with no support, that's a lot more challenging than when my hand's planted on the floor. Don't let me stop you from going to your feet if that's what you need today. Place your hands right on top of your disc. Now push your knees, four feet to floor, so the weight's forward. 
then open your hands a little bit. So we're working for a chest press. And again, we're on unstable surface, so already it's gonna feel harder than normal. Chest goes down, chest goes up. Chest goes down and up. Two more. One more. Now bring your hands together one at a time. Reposition your push-up position by pushing your pelvis forward and chin up. Slide only your right hand to the side. Drop your chest in the middle. Push back up. Slide the right hand in. Slide the left hand to the side. Drop your chest through the middle. Push up. Let's go through that with a little more motion. So right hand goes side, down, up, and in. Left hand. Right hand again. Last time with the left side. Bring it up. Keep your hands together, pull back. Push back forward. The last set of push-ups are done in wide hand position when you go down. The challenge is to slide your hands together when you pull up. If it becomes too much to move the disc or the discs don't move, keep your hands wide and just do another good set of push-ups. So now take your hands wide, lift up. Lower the chest. As you come up, slide your discs together. Slide out to go down and slide in to go up. Go ahead and take a few more in a rhythm that works for you. Let's do two more. Finish one more time. And sit back. Okay, so now we work back, triceps, chest, and chest also works the biceps. Kind of roll it out. Come into a seated position with your heels on the discs. This can also be a challenging position, especially if your heels are a little sticky. But if I miss the disc, I can still do that movement pretty well, even on a wood floor. So let's start with the heels on disc, hands under thighs. Belly button pulls into the back, it braces. You also want to be really careful that you don't slouch your shoulders. So open the chest. Then release your hands and reach forward. So you want to get that tailbone under so you're not hurting the floor or the tailbone to the floor. Right foot forward and in, left foot forward and in, right foot forward and in, left foot push. And again, friction to floor helps the disc move, unless you've got a fluffy floor like me. Now both feet at the same time, push. Notice I'm not changing my torso yet. Now slow it down and lean back as your legs go forward, pull in. And only lean back as far as you can come back up. So if you can get to your low back, go for it. Not the back of your head, the low back. So I'm still reaching forward, but if I get stuck, I gotta come up smooth. Don't go down so low if you can't come back up. Come up and hold. Lift the heels off the disc, put them on the disc, push the heels forward lower, pull in. Heels go up, heels to the disc, push forward. I'm gonna do four of these with a little more speed. So heels up, down, push, pull. Remember, only go down as low as you can come back up smoothly. Lift. One more. Good, reposition and lift all the way up. With the heels under disc, if they will, stay. Place your feet out in front of you, lean back, arms out to the side like a goal post. One leg goes forward, one leg goes in, switch. As you start to notice the knee that's coming in, you rotate your elbow to it. Still leaning back, so you've got that tummy engaging. Now pick up the speed so it's just smooth. So working the crisscross here, last four, three, two, and rest, bring it in. Lift it nice and tall, and then bring your heels to the disc as you lower yourself to your back. So again, if you need your mat, place it underneath you. You're in a, just a long leg position, heels on disc, hands at your side. Slide your heels in, pretty close. Push with your heels, lift the bridge up and down. So just like the push-up, my heels are on unstable surface. This is gonna make the bridge feel a little harder. 
This time, lift the hips up and hold and squeeze. Knees close together, push the right foot forward and back. Left foot forward and back. Friction of the disc, push, pull. Push, pull. Push, pull one more. Lower the hips. Relax. Lift the hips, push down with the disc. Slide the right foot to the side and in. Left foot side and in. Try to keep the knee over the ankle. And if you're okay with that, take both feet at the same time like a jumping jack. Just try to keep the hips off the floor from touching. One more. Lower the hips. Relax for a second. Now put your heels on the disc and lift all the way up. The hardest move of all, both heels pushing forward and back in. This is a really intensive hamstring curl. If your feet leave the disc, or if it's too intense, do one foot at a time. Ready, push your heels forward, and you're gonna pull right back in. When they come in is where you wanna lift your hips. Pull in, pull in, push out, pull in, push out, pull in. Last two, lift, one more, and in. Ooh, that's intense. Take your legs and just pull them up to your chest and open up the back side of your knees a little bit. Just a little rocking. Okay, place the feet back on your disc and slide your feet forward so you're lying flat. Again, don't stress if your discs are getting sticky or if they're not moving, just continue to move your legs the way you need to. Hands behind your head, sitting the body up and the legs are still straight for now. Lift. Lift. So again, it's really important to keep the space under the chin the same whether the head is up or down. Bring both knees in as you go up and push forward. So when I say knees in, you're sliding the feet against the floor to bend your knees. Pull in, push forward. Pull in. Now just the right knee, in, left knee. As you do this, twist to the knee, twist to the knee, twist to the knee. Twist to the knee. Slow down and take it to the middle. Lift your heels up off the floor. Put your heels down, find the disc and push forward. Open the chest, pull in and engage. Lift the heels, lower the heels to the floor, push out and lower the shoulders. Engage, pull up, lift. Lower the heels, push forward, lower the shoulders. One more time, pull in. Lift the heels, lower the heels, push out and hold. Keep your hands behind the back of your head. Lift the chest. Take both heels to the right side, bring your right elbow towards your heels. So you're gonna swivel and center. Left side, and I've lost my disc, so I'm just going through the motions with my heels against the floor. Swivel, and again, swivel. One more, swivel, center, release your shoulders down. Similar to some of the circles that we've done actually in two different positions already. We've done some circling with our hands. We've done some circling with our feet in a plank. Now we're upside down. Pull your heels in as you lift your shoulders. Open your heels, lower the shoulders as your legs come down. Pull in, open, circle, lower the shoulders, not head. Shoulders. One more. Now reverse a circle, sliding the heels. Out lift the shoulders, push forward, lower the shoulders. Out lift the shoulders, push forward, lower again. Now as we pick up speed and reverse, be careful not to just use your head. Pull in and out. In. Shoulder lift. Shoulder lift, reverse it. So we've got to tighten up the middle to move fast. Two more, one more, and release. Good, going to our last set of exercises. The hands will be on the disc. So if you've lost your disc like I have, grab them. <laughs> Place your hands to the outside of you like a capital T. I think I'm gonna move to a diagonal so you can see me a little bit better. So hands are out to a capital T. Legs are in a tabletop 90 degree angle. 
Starting with the torso only, the hands slide forward, lifting your shoulders. Bring your eyes forward, open and lower. Bring your eyes forward. Cinch up the belt line at the top. One more. Now working with just the legs, keep your arms open, right toe goes down and up. Left toe goes down and up. Both toes go down together. Really engaging the low tummy embrace. As the toes go down, take both hands forward and open it up. Both hands forward and open it up. One more. Now hold. I'm gonna do this move the opposite way. So when my toes go up, my hands go forward, it's gonna to start to feel like your series of five. Toes go down first. As they come up, hands go forward. Toes go down, arms open. Toes go up, shoulders lift. Open and lift. Toes go down. Now I'm gonna make a change. Extend your legs forward as your arms open. Knees come in and reach forward. So it's like the double leg stretch. Two more. One more. Open the arms, keep your legs in, release your head. Keep one knee at the chest for the single leg stretch. As your legs switch, lift your chest, push forward. As they open, pull the other knee in. Close the fist forward, open and switch. Forward and open. And again, so you gotta really pay attention to your neck and release the knees in. So if I'm just moving my head, my neck is gonna feel strained. If I come up and leave my head back, my neck is going to feel strained. So we have to use the shoulders to lift the head. Take one leg higher, one leg lower. As you scissor, move your disc forward. Scissor and move the disc open. So my shoulders lift, my head goes forward. Lower the shoulders down. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower. One more time. Lift and lower. Release the knees to chest. Okay, the double straight leg stretch. Legs kick up to the ceiling. As they lower forward, the discs come forward. As they lift back up, they open. And then bring the knees into the chest, keep the arms open. Extend the legs, arms open. Kick forward, arms go forward. Arms go open, look up, knees in. Start to lift up with the chest, push the discs forward. Lift up with the legs, look up, knees in. Don't move the arms, just lift the chest, look up. Then move the arms, open it up, and in. Last time, extend legs, lift chest, then move the arms forward with the legs. Open it up, and down, good. Last move is the crisscross, and this is gonna take some coordination. Bring your right knee in, left leg extend forward. Lift the chest, but bring the left arm forward. Switch legs, switch arms. Switch arms, so one is side, one is forward, my body stays up. One more, and release down. Open the arms, stretch out the legs, leave the disc where they are, and just reach your arms up. Let's give you some stretches here. Push your heels out. Now grab hold of one leg to get you into a seated position. As you lift up, take hold of your discs and go into a straddle position. With the disc forward, slide the disc forward, let your head drop. I like to kind of sway into my stretches and just kind of ease into them to just the right spot. From here, extending the chin forward, I pull my disc a little closer to my chest. So I'm allowed to lift higher by pulling the disc forward. So feeling the difference between that. Slide your disc forward, drop your head. Slide the disc towards you, lift the chin, lengthen. One more time, slide forward. Slide up, 
Now move to your right leg and bring one disc behind and one disc in front, sliding out toward your foot. Take the front hand, reach out, and turn your body sideways. Bring the hand back to the disc, and then push the disc a little further forward, then come in. Switch sides, bring one disc in front, one disc back, and slide out towards your left foot. Take your front hand off the disc, turning you into a side bend. Bring your hand back down towards the disc, and then push it a little further forward, and slide the disc back in. Take your disc, just stack them up, put them off to the side, bring your legs in front of you. Take your hands behind you and open up your chest, shoulders, heart, and chin. As you push up, take hold of your disc, one on each side of your legs, and take a hamstring curl stretch forward, this time keeping the chin lifted. Now release the head forward and see if you can push the disc a little further. And just pull it back in. Take the disc, just set them off to the side. Cross your right leg over the left. You have the option of bringing this left leg under or leaving it straight. Left arm wraps around the right leg, twist towards the right side. And bring it back to the center. Switch legs, rotate around it, and twist. Just bring your legs into a bent position that's comfortable for you. Let the rib cage circle forward and back and around. And reverse the direction of that circle. Good. Bring your hands into your heart. Take a deep breath in. Reach all the way around. Exhale, bring hands to heart. Take that one more time. Exhale. Be so grateful for the healthy body that you have and everything that you just did today. Again, thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. I will try to continue to bring more content to you, so watch for it. But again, there's 99 videos now. Next video will be the 100th. So go back through them, see what you've missed, and then try some of them again. Because for me, the more I do them, the more challenging they become, but the better they become. Have a wonderful day. Come back and join me again soon. Thanks for coming today.